Beat Saber has had its fair share of updates over the years, and typically these updates would break the mods. People would usually have to downgrade their game and this would end up being somewhat complicated. But now it's been made a ton easier by the team that developed the Beat Saber Legacy Launcher. Downgrading your game is just a couple clicks away, a far cry from what it was just a couple months ago. Before we hop into the meat of the tutorial, I just want to ask you guys to please like and subscribe, it helps a lot more than you could think. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started on the tutorial. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your local address bar and type in the web address bslegacy.com. You can also find this link in the description, just scroll down a little bit. And what this is going to do is it's going to take you to the page where you can download Beat Saber Legacy Launcher, which is what we're going to use to get this downgraded version of the game. So once you're here, you're going to want to scroll down just a bit until you see BS Legacy Launcher right here. Then click Download Launcher and it should open and download the launcher. Once that's done downloading, you're going to want to go to where you downloaded this RAR file and go ahead and extract it. Once you have this extracted folder, you're going to want to go into this folder and look for the executable named Beat Saber Legacy Launcher. You're going to open up this program and you're going to come to a page that looks something like this. From here, you're going to want to select a version and pick the year that that version was from. For me, it'll be 2021, but it goes back all the way to 2018 to 0.10.1. Once you've selected your year, you're going to want to choose your version number. For me, that's 1.16.3. Once you have that selected, go ahead and click download. After you've done that, it's going to ask you to enter your Steam credentials. This is so that it knows that you rightfully own the game and haven't pirated it or are trying to get a free version. Once you've entered your credentials, go ahead and click start. If you have two-factor authentication enabled, it's going to ask you to enter your two-factor authentication code. Once you've entered that, go ahead and click enter. It'll start the download right away. Once your download's finished, go ahead and click back. It's gonna take you right back to this screen. Next, you're gonna wanna exit and then go back into the launcher. This is going to allow you to see a couple of options that you couldn't before, such as desktop, debug, and Oculus mode. Oculus mode will start the game using Oculus, circumnavigating SteamVR altogether. Desktop mode will launch the game in first person, just like FPFC would. And I honestly don't know what debug mode does, so if you could let me or anyone else in the comments know, that'd be great. Now if you don't want to mod this installation of Beat Saber, click launch, and it'll launch right away. However, if you want to mod the game, stay tuned, we'll get to that next. To mod the game, it's actually quite simple, and it's just like any other installation. Just go into Mod Assistant and click the Options tab. From here, you're going to want to click Select Folder and go to the BS Legacy Launcher folder that you downloaded earlier. Once you're here, you're going to want to go one more folder deep to the Beat Saber folder, and then you can click Save. What this does is that it chooses your downgraded game and not your Steam game. After you've chosen the folder, close out of Mod Assistant and open it back up again. This makes it so that it redetects the game and correctly chooses the game version as well as correctly detects that you don't have any mods installed. From here you're just going to want to choose your mods and click install or update and then close mod assistant and you're good to go. Your game's pretty much modded. And there you go. You can see that the game has been fully modded. You'll notice however that I don't have any custom songs. This is because it's a new installation of Beat Saber. None of your songs from the other install will carry over. That means you'll have to copy them over to this install of Beat Saber. There's also an alternative to using mod assistant. You can copy over all of your mods and user data files from your more up-to-date Steam version to this downgraded Beat Saber Legacy Edition. If you choose to go this route, make sure that in Beat Saber Legacy Launcher under Advanced Settings, you install BS BSIPA, or just install BSIPA in general, as this is crucial to the success of modding your game. Uninstalling Beat Saber Legacy Launcher's version of Beat Saber is actually stupidly simple. All you have to do is open the application, click uninstall, click are you sure, and then it backs up and uninstalls your game. And there you have it, how to downgrade your Beat Saber game made stupidly easy. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really really appreciate you guys choosing this tutorial over the others out there. If this helped, please like, comment, maybe even subscribe, it really helps a lot. Once again, I'm trying to hit 115 subs by mid-September, and I really really know we can do it. Also, please follow my TikTok, I doubt you have, at nullvr underscore. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, Bye bye